Hi, welcome to the Man channel. I'm you. I'm often talking about web, blockchain, and AI. Today, I'm going to tell you all about modern development with Python 2024. Especially this year, next Python tooling, next gen Python tooling. This is a fantastic tool from one company, it's called Acho. And this one, they just start recently. And when I check out all the blog from them, they had two tools. The first one is a frog that are linter, the first matter. Thinking of like Biome or ROM from JavaScript ecosystem. One tool do for everything for you. I think in the first mass. And another one is UVs. This is a rock in alternative to PIP and PIP tool, which means this one will improve the time when you install the package. It's super fast. And Bow is Really recently, it's still early, but when you see on this website, you're gonna see a lot of good things like try and test it from across all process from open source world, and they got a lot of good comments, good feedback on the tune. Like, why Ruff is a game changer because it's like 1000 faster, literally, not a typo. So, this is order from. And the interesting thing about this company, when I checked their blog, it's just started from 2022 and in August up to now, you, you wish me more than one year and a half at the time I record this video. And they do a lot of good things, like they got the, a lot of traction from the ecosystem, and then they opened the company to back in this. At that time, they only had one tool with the roof, and up to now, they really another tool is called UV. And when I check all the document about this one, I find out they also working with Dry, and they acquired this tool. Later on, on this video, you want to see the demo when I use this one is quite fantastic because. This thing of like you have one tune for all the needs you want, and when you have this one, the right to your line, this has a free Python experience. And they have found this, this video instruction here. If you can at that time, kind of show minutes, you can watch all the introduction here, it can help you to get the same. But for I'm now. gonna show on my project, it's called Python 2024 demo. It's quite simple and it's view the API with fast API. If you follow me, you are gonna see another video I create for fast API. And this is a full stop mode, but this one is quite simple. Because my focus on this demo is use try UV and drop to manage all the stuff. With Python. The first thing you need to have is right is on your machine. And the easy way you can go to the repo and you curse to install. And after this stuff, you are good to go. And secondly, the installation for the, the package on your process is quite simple. You clone this repo. So you go to the cost here. You can use CLI from GitHub. Like it help repo clone or just this clone and you give the ul or the ssl like this one the uses for now i only give one example this rise and you gonna run the dev server for this demo purpose i gonna run on the I can the run rise run dev server this will open the server and this is the server right now. Is this is simple hello world and ball. And you can go to doc to see other things, and you can type thing try it out and see the result. Another one is about the guest. You can see is the ID, and you can get a string, and you can call it. And this is the log on CLI. I'm gonna show you how it's set up and what it. Is under this triple. 
So this is a readme file, same thing. And the the entry point for this one, you're gonna see the file process.com. On this one, the dependency here is tell you now that this process you fast CVI to view and requirement is you Python director j.ie I also had a simple script for this project it's called modern Python 2024 demo and they have the hello so it's I got in this file and you can see this one this is the hello now if I run from CLI right run my hello strip and you see the and the the good thing about this one when I change this one I, I run again you see it's right away okay, this is just CLI and when you define the custom strip from your project and you can give the path and where you define the function name and second thing here I have group install so I can define what is the link length? What is the length? When it's too long, you're gonna see the the error. And for this one, I had the main file. This is just copy files from FastAPI documentation. And now if I run the rope post mask, you're gonna see this is the same with dry FMT. This is nothing changed. And now if I just that is lovely and now if I say because I have this post mask on my editor so I is do it instant if I turn off the post mask thing now if I do it again one more time and like this one now to change on this time and I can run right FMT and you're gonna see it has one file Reformat this one file is okay. So now you this is the file. And if I say this one, and another command is a link. You can run links and now thing now error here. And how about the dev server? Where would you find? And this is the way we can define the dev environment. We had dev DMC and you can install the unicorn so for install this one you have two options you can you rise as something like this one which means you ask to the dev environment and this will install and if your access will run another one you can you write as like fast api like this one is will ask to dependent package and i have two dev dependents here and this strip i Define the dev server with me. I use unicorn and run the main file. And from the app, the SRC modern Python 2024 demo. So this is the, the path, and this is the file, the main.py file. And from here, I define app. So from, from the dev server command, now I run this one. Try run dev server. This will run the the command which we, we just define. So it's it's quite simple, and you have linking and you have typing command. You can then just stop, try, test. This will you pytest underneath, and we had one more button here. This is Python version, so you can choose which version you want. And this one I use three point ten. And if I want to switch to different version, I can use write ping equal nine. So it's it's will change the the file and it will choose what is the latest version at on that one. So this is G point nine point eighteen. And run I run write sync again. And this one, because the, the version it's running right now is G point ten and it's by the G point nine. So it will download the the package and we install all the thing for you so with, with this one you can easily manage the process that you want and it's run on your project easily one more important point i also can set up the pre hook here so this one it will run whenever that 
push the chain to the GitHub repo. If you run two things, it's in a rough to run linting and run the for smart thing. Also, I had the pressure whenever I change the file on mother file and read me file, it will run pressure on that file. So this is just let it run me. All right. And the one more thing I want to say, but right now it's still TBD, that how you can you write with a Docker. And this is a discussion and you see they already got the answer from community. And you can follow along and choose the way you want, like you can create multi stretching view, like with me, create a different step. And at the end, the, the final image will be smaller and better for your production when you use this one. And come back here. So when I switch now, it's, it will gonna install the create new virtual environment on, on my machine on one process, then it generate the production, which means that I depend on, and then get the depth. Then we can now we can see they had depth, and then get they're gonna get a depth environment first, production environment, then get a depth, and install all the thing on on the Project. And now, if I run dry, run dev server at this moment, it will run again. It will run the server. And when it's ready, you're going to see the same UI, same, same thing. And at this moment, right now, you chip on 9. All right. Thank you, everyone. Happy Sunday. If you have any feedback or comment on this video, let me know. See you next time. Bye-bye.